My guest today is Margaret Stewart, who's the country manager for Salesforce Canada. Now, Margaret is responsible for leading the growth strategy and business operations to deliver customer success and digital transformations. She believes that business is truly a platform for change. She has an impressive biography with more than 20 years of experience in sales, go-to-market, and product management with technology companies, including BlackBerry, Longview Solutions, and Siemens Healthcare. Now, Margaret's truly a global citizen, having lived in four countries and holding three passports. Born in Ireland, she immigrated to Canada 20 years ago from the US. She's passionate about men mentoring young professionals and new Canadians. Margaret's a board member at Elevate and has a BA in computer science from Trinity College in Dublin. She's also a graduate of the Judy product, which is a Rotman School Leadership Forum. Margaret, welcome to the Business of Business. We're delighted to have you with us. Thank you, Perrin. So great to be here. Let's start with Salesforce itself. Uh, many Canadians don't know the company, and yet it's a growing presence in Canada's business community. Can you give us a, an overview of the company and of, of their presence in Canada? Sure. No, delighted to. I mean, Salesforce brings companies and their customers together. So we're a digital platform. And as the world needs an increasing amount of personalization in order to bring service and support to your, cu your customers, we're the digital platform that delivers that. So in the world of collaboration and personalization, we deliver a customer 360, a digital 360 that brings businesses and customers together. Margaret, you've put a particular priority on small business. So earlier this year, we in the Canadian Chamber of Commerce partnered with Salesforce to provide small Canadian businesses from coast to coast with $10,000 grants to help with their recovery efforts. And through the generosity of Salesforce, we were able to help 62 small Canadian businesses build their resilience so they could get back to business. Um, I want to start off uh, by talking a little bit about this and why it came to be such a priority for Salesforce here in Canada and why you, you have put such a priority on small business. Small businesses really are the heart of so many communities in Canada. And we've been just so, so impressed with the resilience of small businesses that have been hit really, really hard with this whole disruption from COVID-19. And so as all the small businesses, many of whom had to close or pivot or reinvent themselves, Salesforce, we didn't want to do that, have them do that themselves and do it on their own. And so that was the impetus to us launching the Small Business Grant. So through partnership with the Chamber of Commerce, we were able to give 62 companies $10,000 each so that they could pivot. So whatever they needed to do in order to reopen safely and to get back to business, they could use those funds to do that. And Perrin, as you know, it was amazingly popular. We had over 1,200 businesses apply for the grants was and then staggering. 60, yeah, and then 62 wonderful recipients that are showing continued resilience in reopening safely and getting back to business. It was, Margaret, as we were going through all of those applications that came in, it was, was both deeply saddening because you saw the impact of the pandemic on so many small businesses across the country, but, but also inspirational. It was, it was stunning to me to, to see, first of all, the creativity of, of so many of these businesses in terms of how they were responding to something that they simply couldn't have been prepared for in advance. And the degree of, of dedication there was both to their employees and to their customers to continue to serve them and to provide jobs for their employees through, through all of this. It, it was truly inspirational. It really, it really was. I mean, we look at you know, one of my favorite examples is AGS Rehab in Mississauga, Ontario, 20 year old business doing well, going across Ontario and they were doing assessments, medical assessments for injured workers. Pandemic hit and they had to totally pivot and they had to then go to pivotal digit to digital assessments and they were able to do that. And you know, now you see the resilience and the innovation and they'll comment that we, we help them advance their business by five years because now most of their assessments are happening virtually and they're doing very, very well. 
So phenomenal resilience and phenomenal innovation. Let's talk for a little bit about small and medium-sized businesses in Canada. If you look at the makeup of the Canadian economy, some 98% of Canada's businesses are SMEs. And it's an incredibly diverse group. It's, it ranges from micro businesses to companies with 500 employees, all sectors, every region of the country, but the most entrepreneurial segment of the economy and, and the most Canadian segment as well. Um, tell me about your experience with small business in Canada. How does, from, from the perspective of Salesforce, which does business around the world, how does the Canadian small business community, uh, how's it different from small businesses in, in other countries or how is it the same? Do you find the same challenges everywhere or do you find a uniqueness to Canada's community? The common thread we see pairing across all small businesses is one, the resilience that they've shown. And we also, they're also kind of the, the beacon as to what's happening in the, in the community. So as you've said yourself, it's, you know, this recovery will be business led and it'll be business led by what's happening on Main Street. So we first saw the lights go out on Main Street. And when we see the open again signs happen on Main Street, we know the recovery is beginning. And, and we're seeing that across Canada and we're seeing huge resilience and huge innovation. And it's primarily around digital and going digital as part of this recovery. I mean, I'm working with 100 year old small businesses in Canada that are taking this opportunity to go digital and to create new connections with their customers so that they're ready for the future, regardless of what happens. Um, and it's that resilience and that innovation that the disruption has actually fostered is, is what we're seeing across the country. One of the critiques that there were that, that there, there were of small businesses in the past in Canada has been that they've been slow relative to their competitors in other countries to computerize and to take advantage of the web and to go online and, and to be digital. And yet what you're saying is that as a result of the pandemic, we've seen this digital transformation taking place at a pace that none of us could have anticipated. Oh, we are. We, we absolutely are. And we're seeing it across all sectors. I mean, if you think of it, when I think about women's college hospital, their ability to be agile has just been phenomenal as part of the, the pandemic. So, you know, teaching hospital affiliated with the University of Toronto, when COVID hit, they thought first about safety and health of Canadians. And in four days, they were able to move to a place where folks were scheduling online they were doing assessments online and they were also doing pre registrations and admissions to the hospital from their home so that when they showed up at the hospital, they didn't have to stand in line. So that ability to be agile and to quickly pivot has really been something that we've seen a huge amount across all sectors. And if going beyond digitization, um, as we, as we come back out of this, eventually we will. Uh, none of us knows when it's going to be exactly, but, but we're going to emerge from the tunnel at some point. One of the things that's clear is that resilience, innovation, and creativity are going to, going to continue to be absolutely critical for small businesses in particular, but for all businesses. What, what is it that we can do? What can government do? What can business do to help to encourage, particularly SMEs in Canada, to be more innovative across the board? You know, tech, innovation is key to being ready for whatever happens. And technology and being digital truly can be this great equalizer, but it's only a phenomenal equalizer if we make that digital skill available broadly. And so I believe that a lot of what the, the government programs can help us do is actually upskill all Canadians so that they come along with us as business reinvents itself and as business innovates. And so I think that's one of the wonderful areas that the government can help. But I also believe that this will be business led. And so when I look at the whole area of skills, I think that's so important so that all Canadians can move with us in this. And, 
And, and Salesforce has a, a deep, deep commitment to this whole area of reskilling. And we launched actually, many years ago, we launched our Trailhead platform. And it's a free online learning platform that offers micro certifications. So we're seeing an increasing trend of folks looking for micro certifications that makes them a part of the digital economy and makes them part of the small business innovation digital economy. And so that's a huge uptake from Canadians. We have Canadians have over 700,000 badges on Trailhead. And we've actually seen since the beginning of the pandemic a 4x increase in the number of folks who are going to Trailhead. And as you, as you mentioned in the opening, one of my particular passions is new Canadians. As a new Canadian, I'm always thinking, how do we best equip new Canadians? And we actually run, at Salesforce run a program called Salesforce for All, which is a volunteer program that's run by Salesforce employees and our partners to deliver Salesforce skills to new Canadians. And we actually recently just graduated 50 folks virtually through this program, which we've now offered four times so that they have those certifications and that digital skill set to bring to innovate across small business in Canada. Fascinating. Margaret, one of the things that, that, that certainly has impressed me and the dealings that, that I've had with Salesforce is the, the sense that Salesforce has that, that it can be part of the solution. There's a temptation sometimes in, in Canada that, that you'll be well aware of for us to say, I have a problem. What is the government going to do about it? Uh, the approach that's been taken by Salesforce, whether it was in providing direct grants to small businesses or in terms of helping to upskill people, is what is it we can do to provide a solution there? And perhaps you can expand as it relates to, to skills, which uh, the Canadian Chamber also sees as, as a critical issue for, for Canada, one that is even more important because of the disruption that's been caused by, by the pandemic. Um, and we're going to have to retool much of society in terms of, first of all, the skills themselves that we have, and then secondly, how we match people and the skills available to what the demands are in the marketplace. What role do you see Salesforce playing in this? And are there other things that businesses should be looking at? I mean, we have to embrace that we are now in an all digital con economy. And to be relevant, you've got to embrace that digital economy. And so I think that's a big part of what we need to do across Canada in getting folks ready for that reality. Um, we, we recently ran a study with IDC Canada that said that by 2022, there's going to be a Salesforce economy that has 28,000 jobs available. Now, how do we go into schools early to make that happen so that folks are ready for that digital economy? How do we expand offerings such as Trailhead so that folks have that micro certification available? And, and since the onset, we've always had a one, one, one model at Salesforce where we believe in giving back. And it's been with at the heart of the company since its inception 21 years ago. Which then brings me to, to that, the final question. And that is, as we tape this, we're at a period where things are looking a bit bleak, uh, where we're seeing new record figures every day about the spread of the disease in Canada and talk about how we shut the economy back down again and, and limit the ability of Canadians to go on with their ordinary lives. So there's a good deal of, of gloom at this point as people are looking at the short term. As you look at the future, um, we all recognize that, that it may be rough in the short term, but we'll get through that. Looking down the road five to 10 years, are you basically an optimist? Uh, what do you see as the future for Canada's businesses? And how can business preserve a sense of optimism as we, as we move forward with a reality that's very uncertain today? I am optimistic. I mean, this is all of our first pandemic. And so we're, we're learning as we go, but we've seen phenomenal resilience and we've seen phenomenal innovation. And we all absolutely need to continue to listen and do what our public health agencies ask of us so that we make it through this, this first pandemic. But I'm awfully optimistic that the, the continued embrace 
of digital technology really lets people collaborate so much differently, lets businesses connect in such creative ways to their customers, and also gives us this phenomenal agile platform so that we're ready for the future, no matter what it brings for us. So, so truly parent, I am very optimistic as to what Canadian businesses can do as we continue to navigate this. Margaret, that's a great message to leave it on. Uh, thank you for your optimism, your commitment to Canadian business, the leadership that you've provided and that Salesforce has provided in supporting Canadian businesses directly. Uh, it's been a pleasure to have a chance to, to have this conversation with you. Thank you very much, Perrin, my pleasure.